Hello guys, today I'm going to be making a reboot of my first videos, or one of my first videos, which is how to get Windows 7 ISO, and today we're going to be doing the same, okay, well it's obviously going to be better quality and stuff like that, and I actually have a mic this time, okay, so first of all we can do, we can go on Google Chrome, then like, well whatever you want really, and then go to any search, like Torrent Engine you want to go on, but right now I'm on BitLord Search, then obviously type in Windows 7 because that's the thing that we're going to be looking for then choose which one you want but I really recommend this one because it's 11 in 1 it's got every single version of Windows 7 you need then obviously click download then it will be downloading right here then after that's downloaded um, you want to go ahead and download something called Rufus if you put in USB anyway but if you're not then uh, Magic ISO or something like that if you if you want um, yeah this will create any USB like well minimum 8 gig you need but this will this will make the ISO go into the USB so you can boot it from USB instead of CDs which is a lot quicker especially if you use um, USB 3.0s. See, look at this. Okay, so obviously download this. I'll put all links in description if needed, yeah? Okay. I'm just going to show you how to do it with another ISO because I've got a couple of ISOs to be honest. Um. do this one <coughs> but I'm not actually going to put it onto a USB because it takes a while to be honest I'm just going to show you what you have to do just wait for it to load ok right, when if you put in a USB it will it will come up in the devices section. These will already be filled out once the USB is plugged in. Then you click on this, and then you go to the file that you're downloading, the ISO. But I'm just gonna just do this randomly, okay? Then you click on that. It will look. Oh. Right. If there's an if there's a USB in it, it will come up with another box. Um, let me just plug in the USB actually. Oh, why is it downloading software? Not running in no. Okay, look, we'll come up with all of this. Then Oh, usually it comes up with the text box but it doesn't clearly. Um <coughs> Let's just start. <coughs> Sorry about that. so it's starting it's gonna take a while so I'm not gonna record the whole process to be honest I'm gonna pause it oh wait what the flip what's going on oh one sec okay um I'm gonna pause it there you go look this this box comes up it's okay right, I'm gonna Pause it. Right. Uh, when it starts going to do the, when it comes up with the thing saying it's transferring it's 12 gigabytes or something like that. Right, this is nearly done. So yeah, just wait for it to load. I don't know why it's taking this time. Uh. 
I'm gonna pause it when it gets to the gig because it's gonna take a while. Okay, I can't even see it up there. Okay, I'm gonna pause it now, guys. Okay guys, now it's coming up to an end in the process, as you can see. It actually took like 20 minutes to do, so lucky I paused it. Otherwise it would have took forever. Okay, this is actually taking long still, don't know why. Let me see the log. Oh, okay. not actually taking 20 minutes it's taking like 19 but you know oh well they're off the same <sighs> this is actually taking ages no maybe no <coughs> I do not know why my background went black weird okay so yeah I might pause it again okay okay guys I'm back sorry about the wait um yeah I guess that's it um next okay sorry about that yeah um I just had to quickly do something uh yeah so we're finished and next stage is to um Obviously, plug in your computer and then install it yourself. But this was done as well. So yeah, that's all it. Got. That's all is to it, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.